always thought about what can we do for the state of California or for the country, for the United States. We come here to figure out how to solve some of the world's toughest issues. The mission of the Institute is to advance postpartisanship, where leaders put people over political parties and political ideology. We're very pleased to welcome you all to our first annual symposium on government and leadership, putting people over politics. While the USC Schwarzenegger Institute focuses on many important policy challenges and solutions, continuing much of Arnold's work that he did during his two terms of governor, from climate change and energy to health and wellness to education policy to jobs and economic policy. Here at the Institute, we understand, though, that without our leaders being able to work together, without getting rid of hyperpartisan gridlock, we will not be successful in addressing any of those policy challenges. So the Institute is committed to an ongoing focus on political reform and looking at and supporting solutions and policies that make our government more competitive, more accountable to the people, and more willing to work together and put what is best for the people over what is best for their political party or their self-interest. We take seriously the first three words of the Constitution, we the people. We do this with the love of this great country and the founding principles and promise of this great democracy. This was a priority of Arnold's when he was governor and his leadership and the leadership of a remarkable coalition of advocacy groups made possible the passing of significant political reforms in California, ending gerrymandering and establishing a Citizens Redistricting Commission and creating an open top two primary were both passed by the people of California and are already having the positive impact that the people hoped they would. And now, inspired by California, many other states are looking to adopt these reforms. We are very grateful that many of these advocacy groups and leaders are here today. We are also grateful that beyond today's symposium, we will continue working with coalitions of advocacy groups and leaders that are committed to these political reforms and the political reform movement that's happening in this nation.